The level of interest in New Zealand art will be put to the test in Auckland tomorrow night. The second part of a private collection is out for sale at auction. The first part totaled nearly $4 million last October. And as Simon Merced reports, the identity of the person selling the art is a mystery. This is the headline piece from our auction. It's called Goods and Services by Bill Hammond. And what do you think that might fetch at auction? It's got an estimate of four to $600,000. Another work from the late Bill Hammond is for sale, titled Wishbone Cave. The Littleton-based artist died last year. His work's now increasingly appreciated. And last year we sold a painting of his uh, for 50,000 shy of a million dollars. Other Kiwi artists feature in the auction. This work here incorporates a lot of really key imagery for Shane Cotton. And here we have uh, a beautiful 1970s watercolour by Robin White. Here we have an incredible work by Gordon Walters. And how did this come about? Well, all the pieces in this auction and in one last October come from one private collector. And who that person is, is being kept under wraps. Are you going to tell me his name? <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to kill you. <laughs> Why do you think this collector is wanting to sell? One thing I know is that it's quite likely that the money's going back into art. This art historian says local art is popular and suggests being at home over COVID has focused our minds on our own artists. And, and the auction tomorrow is an example of this. You have an artist who, like Bill Hammond, that has a, a, an amazing body of work, but you also see a number of younger living artists' work being placed within that mix for, uh, for sale. And you won't need to sell your house to buy an artwork. A photo like this from Arns Westra, for example, may well be sold for less than $10,000. Simon Mercep, One News.